F0 is 37, so F1 would be 42, F2 would be 47, F3 would be 52, and therefore 52, 57, 62, 67. Again, they are going to be 9 terms. There are many ways of doing it. I will tell you a couple of ways of doing it smartly. 72, 77, 82, 87. Let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One way would be to take an odd number of terms. See, 3 to 9 is 7 terms. And the middle value is 67. So, 1 would be... So the sum of these seven terms would be the middle term times the number of terms because the num because the common interval is the same. So 67 into 7 will give you 469. And then add 87 to this, you get 556. This can be one smart way of doing it. Another way can be... Uh, See, 52 is common everywhere, so let's take 52 into 8, 8 terms, 3 to 10 are 8 terms, let's take 52 out, and then the delta is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and if we take uh, 5 common, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 until 7, so it's 5 into some of us seven terms would be seven into eight upon two that's 140 more five into 28 that's 140 and 140 plus 416 is 556 so these are two ways i suggest uh, again doing it manually will take a lot of time not suggested on the gmat it's always some trick the questions are never too mathy they're always tricky